Welcome to the Sousa Family Garden Adventure, where we embark on a journey to discover the wonders of gardening. Our garden is more than just a collection of plants, it's a vibrant ecosystem where life thrives, and each plant has its unique story and role. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or a novice, this guide is designed to enrich your gardening experience, providing you with the knowledge and skills to cultivate a flourishing garden. In the Sousa Family Garden, we believe that gardening is not just a hobby, but a way of life. It connects us to nature, teaches us patience, and rewards us with beauty and bounty. As we walk you through various aspects of plant care, you'll learn about the intricate details that go into making a garden thrive. From understanding the needs of different plants to mastering the art of repotting and pruning, this guide covers it all. Gardening is a therapeutic activity that promotes mental well-being and physical health. It offers a sense of accomplishment and serenity as you nurture plants from tiny seeds or cuttings into full-grown specimens. The Sousa Family Garden is committed to helping you create a garden that not only looks beautiful, but also provides a habitat for wildlife and contributes to the overall health of the environment. Let's begin this adventure by setting the stage for what lies ahead. We will delve into the basics of gardening, explore various plant species, and understand the critical factors that influence plant growth. So put on your gardening gloves, grab your tools, and let's get started on this exciting journey together. Understanding plant labels is crucial for successful gardening. These labels contain essential information about the plant's needs and characteristics, guiding you on how to care for it properly. In this section, we will break down the common elements found on plant labels and explain their significance. Plant labels typically include the plant's common name and scientific name. The common name is what most people call the plant, while the scientific name, usually in Latin, provides a universal identification. Knowing the scientific name can help you find more detailed information about the plant, as common names can vary by region. Next, plant labels often indicate the plant's light requirements. Terms like full sun, partial shade, and full shade describe how much sunlight the plant needs to thrive. Full sun means the plant requires at least six hours of direct sunlight daily. Partial shade refers to around three to six hours of sunlight, and full shade means the plant can grow with minimal direct sunlight. Watering needs are another critical aspect mentioned on plant labels. Terms like keep soil moist, water regularly, or drought tolerant provide guidelines on how often and how much water the plant needs. Some plants prefer consistently moist soil, while others can survive with infrequent watering. Soil type and pH preferences are also commonly included. This information helps you choose the right soil for planting. Some plants thrive in acidic soil, while others prefer alkaline or neutral pH levels. Knowing the preferred soil type can significantly impact the plant's health and growth. Plant labels may also indicate the plant's hardiness zone, a geographical area defined by climatic conditions, including minimum temperatures. The USDA hardiness zone map is commonly used in the United States. Knowing your zone helps you select plants that can survive and thrive in your climate. Other important details on plant labels include the plant's mature size, growth rate, and spacing requirements. Understanding how large a plant will grow and how quickly it will reach that size helps in planning your garden layout. Proper spacing ensures that plants have enough room to grow without competing for resources. Finally, plant labels often provide information on the plant's flowering period, fruiting habits, and any special care instructions. This helps you anticipate when the plant will bloom or produce fruit and how to care for it during different stages of its growth cycle. By learning to read and interpret plant labels, you equip yourself with the knowledge needed to provide the best care for your plants. This foundational skill sets the stage for a successful gardening experience, ensuring that each plant in your garden thrives. Choosing the right plants for your garden is a crucial step that determines the overall success and beauty of your space. The selection process involves considering various factors, including your climate, soil type, light availability, and personal preferences. In this section, we will explore how to select plants that will thrive in your garden and complement your landscape. Firstly, assess your garden's environment. Observe the amount of sunlight different areas receive throughout the day. Identify spots that get full sun, partial shade, or full shade. This information is vital because different plants have varying light requirements, as mentioned earlier. Selecting plants that match the light conditions of your garden ensures they receive the optimal amount of sunlight for growth. Next, evaluate the soil in your garden. Conduct a soil test to determine its texture, sand, silt, clay, or loam, and pH level, acidic, neutral, or alkaline. Different plants thrive in different soil conditions, and knowing your soil type helps you choose plants that are naturally suited to your garden's environment. If your soil is not ideal, you can amend it to meet the needs of specific plants. Consider the climate of your region, 
The USDA Hardiness Zone map is a useful tool for understanding which plants can survive in your area's minimum temperatures. Choose plants that are hardy in your zone to ensure they can withstand the local weather conditions. Additionally, consider factors like humidity, rainfall, and wind, as these can also impact plant health. When selecting plants, think about the design and aesthetic you want to achieve. Consider the plant's mature size, shape, and growth habit. Do you want a formal garden with neatly trimmed hedges, or a more natural wildflower meadow look? Think about the colors, textures, and forms that will create the desired visual impact. Mixing plants with different bloom times can ensure continuous color and interest throughout the growing season. Another important consideration is the plant's function in your garden. Are you looking for ornamental plants, edible plants, or those that provide habitat for wildlife? Ornamental plants add beauty and structure. Edible plants like fruits and vegetables provide food, and native plants attract and support local wildlife, such as birds and pollinators. Having a clear purpose for each plant helps create a balanced and functional garden. Maintenance is another factor to consider. Some plants require more care, such as regular pruning, fertilizing, or pest control, while others are low maintenance and can thrive with minimal intervention. Choose plants that match your gardening experience and the amount of time you can dedicate to garden care. Finally, consider incorporating a mix of annuals, perennials, shrubs, and trees to add variety and structure to your garden. Annuals provide quick, vibrant color, but need to be replanted each year, while perennials come back year after year, offering longevity. Shrubs and trees add height and can serve as focal points or background elements in your garden design. By thoughtfully selecting plants based on these considerations, you create a garden that is not only beautiful, but also sustainable and suited to your environment. This careful planning ensures that your garden will thrive and bring joy for years to come. When it comes to plant care, certain practices often take the spotlight, such as watering and fertilizing. However, there is an unsung hero of plant maintenance that plays a critical role in the health and vitality of your garden soil health. Soil is the foundation of plant life and maintaining its quality is essential for successful gardening. In this section, we will delve into the importance of soil health and how to enhance it for optimal plant growth. Soil is a complex ecosystem composed of minerals, organic matter, water, air, and countless microorganisms. These components work together to provide plants with the nutrients and support they need to grow. Healthy soil promotes strong root development, efficient nutrient uptake, and resilience against pests and diseases. One of the key aspects of soil health is its structure. Soil structure refers to the arrangement of soil particles, sand, silt, and clay, and the pore spaces between them. Good soil structure allows for adequate water infiltration and drainage, root penetration, and air circulation. Poor soil structure, on the other hand, can lead to problems such as water logging, compaction, and root suffocation. To improve soil structure, consider the following practices. 1. Incorporating organic matter, such as compost, aged manure, or leaf mold, into your soil is one of the best ways to enhance its structure. Organic matter improves soil aeration, water retention, and nutrient availability. It also supports the growth of beneficial microorganisms that break down organic material into nutrients that plants can use. 1. Growing cover crops, also known as green manure, is an excellent way to improve soil health. Cover crops like clover, alfalfa, and ryegrass help prevent soil erosion, suppress weeds, and add organic matter to the soil when they decompose. They also fix nitrogen in the soil, making it available for future crops. 1. Applying a layer of mulch on the soil surface helps regulate soil temperature, retain moisture, and reduce weed growth. Organic mulches, such as straw, wood chips, or shredded leaves, gradually decompose and add nutrients to the soil, further improving its structure. 1. Compacted soil restricts root growth and reduces water and air infiltration. To prevent compaction, avoid walking on garden beds, especially when the soil is wet. Use pathways or stepping stones to minimize disturbance. 1. Join our YouTube channel at Sousa Family Garden.